everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we are going to be making a cute little Easter card with this chick from the Honeycomb Happiness stamp set. And this is a celebration choice that you can choose with your $50 in product purchase. This is kind of like our countdown to the end of celebration. There are just a few days left and there is a free choice of gift with each $50 in product purchase. So I have a piece of watercolor paper cut at three by four and a quarter. <clears throat> and I'm going to stamp this little chick in basic gray archival ink. And that will enable it to accept some water without smearing the image. And next, I'm taking these little blades of grass from the Sheltering Tree Stamp Set. This set is in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to stamp that in basic gray also underneath a little chick several times. And we'll add color and just make this a cute little Easter scene. Okay, I believe I can put away my basic gray ink now. And... We're going to get an aqua painter that has water in the well. And I'm going to be using some of the end colors, the 2014, 2016 end colors that will be retiring at the end of this Stampin' Up! year, which is on May 31st. However, the retiring list will come out soon. I'm thinking April because it was April of last year, but I really don't know for sure. But with that being said, these colors uh, will go fast once they hit the retiring list. So if you have these colors and you love them and you want to continue using them, this one here is Mossy Meadow. And then you need to get those refills now, those ink refills now. I believe last year they may have sold out in a day or two, maybe a day. So that includes the cardstock, embellishments, ink pads, anything with these colors. And I'll be using four of them on today's card. <clears throat> and this one, like I said, is Mossy Meadow. I'm just doing a grassy uh, place for him to stand. I'm going to move this out of the way. And next I'm going to take some Tangelo Twist, which is another in color that will be retiring. And just pick up a little bit of color and do his little feet and his beak. Okay, now and one of my favorites, Hello Honey, also retiring. And I'm going to squeeze some of the water down in the well and get some of this and just very easily coloring this little chick, okay? Um, not trying to do anything too artistic, even though it is a work of art when you're through, a work of your heart and a work of art. And so I'm just going to get him colored. And it looks like I may have a little bit of the Tangelo twist that blended in from his beak. And it looks kind of cute. I like it. Okay, there he is, all proud and colored in Hello Honey. And now let's do the sky background. And <clears throat> I ran out of water in that well, so I'm switching to another. And this is another beautiful blue. Uh, that is also one of those in colors, Lost Lagoon. It is just gorgeous. It's a dusty blue, and um, it's got a blue-green tone to it and making a really pretty sky. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I encourage you to head on over to my blog and sign up for my mailing list uh, because my mailing list subscribers or getting some exclusive videos and project ideas as we close celebration. One already went out yesterday, so don't miss anything else. Head on over there and sign up. If you're on my blog, you can see the sign up box right in the upper right hand corner. And that way you won't miss any of my 
newsletters, emails, notification of specials, and the latest and greatest from Stamp It Up. Okay, so I'm getting the sky done, and you can see I'm just moving the color around, not getting really anything too dark, and as it dries, it'll be really pretty and fun for an Easter card, okay? Now, that is drying a little bit, and if I wanted to speed it up, I could heat it with my heat tool a bit, but I'm just gonna let it be for a minute and show you this card base, which is Lost Lagoon. And I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. And then I ran it through my Big Shot with the Decorative Dots Textured Impressors Embossing Folder. This is also in the annual catalog. And to give it a fun background, and then I'm going to just slip it under this Whisper White Organza ribbon that I tied around as an accent piece. So let me apply some adhesive here. I'm gonna use Fast Fuse and give it a really good stick. <clears throat> Let me just slide that down where the ribbon borders it at the bottom. Okay, and got that there. And then I used this Crazy About You stamp set that has all these great sayings, also in the annual catalog, and I stamped Happy Easter. These, these are cut at about a quarter of an inch, and I cut it a quarter by two and a half about, and then I just cut it in half. And I'm going to apply those right up here to the upper right of my little image. And then I punched some Hello Honey flowers with the flower punch from the Itty Bitty Accents Punch Pack. And I'm using a mini glue dot behind those and that's gonna add some color and border off that sentiment uh, nicely and really give it that Easter feel with those pretty Hello Honey flowers. And of course, a finishing touch with some of our basic rhinestones. And one in each center. You could also use our basic pearls would be pretty. And there you have a fun Easter card with a cute little chick. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure and visit my website. Sign up for my mailing list so you don't miss anything. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.